Should be an interesting, interesting little tour we're getting today. Here's our first view of the salt. And, uh, one of the trails here, which I think is uh, where we might be going today. Oh, that's really cool. Come here. You can take, you can take one, but be very careful with your hands. I tell people it's a diamond, but don't put it in <laughs> water because it melts. <laughs> Went down on the trail here. This is cotton. We call it the magic fiber. Wow. Why it's called the it's magic cotton. fiber? I, I tell people from kindergarten, why is it called the magic fiber? Because if you come here and you do it like this, it's called spinning, and you, you're making what? That's making why. It's the red. Thread. Well, that's why we call it the magic fiber because. Sometimes during the day you're going to use cotton. Hmm. I need a picture. And you can eat it too. Up. Crisco, Crisco, uh, Hold that out. Crisco grease is made of cotton, cotton seeds. Hmm. And some dipsticks are made from cotton. There are many things made of from cotton. Who knew? And cotton has, I, I tell them once a history, tell him, this is what we call the, the kids. Uh, cotton is very important. Because when Christopher Columbus came, Christopher Columbus left he Europe was looking, looking for, the, for, for what? For India. For India. Yeah. And so he knew in India cotton was produced. I mean, the, the Europeans wanted to get, get to India because of the spices and the, and the cotton. Because mm. in, in Europe there is no cotton. Because of so the climate. Mm, yeah. when he, they came here and found the, the cotton in the, the wild cotton all over the, the islands. They, 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 they confirmed. We got to India. Oh. oh, that's, that's that, a the confirmation people, that they came The native looked like Indian too, so that, that's why they are called Indians now. Oh, the West Indies. That, that's, yeah. But the thing is that the plant this here is, is a completely Indies. different plant from India. It's mm -hmm. two species completely, yeah. but they produce cotton. In Cabo Rojo, see, it's part of Cabo Rojo. We had uh, 52 different farms, cotton farms. Uh, producing very good cotton. You try, you I never try knew it. that. You can try it, and it's very good cotton quality. And it is still best, you know, it's a, it's a wild one. Wild oh, one, yeah. well it's, one. It, really, it, it absolutely no, feels like it a doesn't compare to, to the commercial uh, But when the people from the U.S. came oh, wow. to Puerto Rico, they burned all the cotton plants, <laughs> not to compete the with the s south of. United States. Oh really? Was that in the uh, oh, God. was that in the early 1900s? Yes. Yeah. Oh man. So all the yeah. cotton plants in Puerto Rico disappeared. They were burned. Oh my gosh. Uh, Stupid. All the farmers in Puerto in Cabo Rojo went to the moon, you know. Bankrupt. Bankrupt. <laughs> and this is the story of the sad story <laughs> of cotton in Puerto Rico. Or, or Thanks, is it, we had sold to sell. Is it making a, is, is it making a revival? Are the people uh, planting it and growing it now in Puerto Rico? It. No, no, it's no. Prohibited. We, we, Oh, it's no, prohibited. The, the, the present conditions won't uh, favor that. Huh. It's very deep, uh, labor intensive. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, exactly. And the same, same, thing as, uh, <laughs> same thing as sugar cane. Yes. And uh, yeah. same as sugar cane. They brought the sugar cane instead of the cotton. Mm -hmm. But the problem is that cotton is produced many times during the year. If you can cane it, it's a one year what? crop. So oh, okay. the rest of the year, the Puerto Ricans died from hunger. Uh -huh. It's called, it was called a. Uh, they died from hunger because they didn't have a hambruna. They didn't have any any money to buy things. Yeah, yeah. So uh, they brought they their became food. They became dependent on the sugar cane. Yeah. And they lost but the But the, uh, the cotton is a crop that you can have it many times. Well, we, in right. Puerto Rico, we used to have many, many crops. Uh, coffee, tobacco, uh, cotton. And, and sugar cane was secondary. But when the, the American companies Coconuts. came in, they uh, changed everything towards sugar. sugar. And they acquired all, all, all over the country. Most of the land, uh, spe uh, specifically in the coast, when well, it's, it's, uh, it's flat terrain, mm -hmm. and they, they planted sugar. Uh, yeah, uh, started sugar cane. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. 
brought from New Zealand and it's harming all the cactuses. Oh, really? It's make like a cancer. Oh, oh. is that what dying. that is? Yeah, yeah they're dying. So yeah. I noticed I noticed that on other cactus too, and yeah. I hadn't noticed that in the all past. Over the all over the island. And uh, we thought the only affected this one. Over the island. They're all cactuses are, are having wow. are having cacti are having this problem. So and there's no, no way to to um. Treat we have it the scientific community uh, working on it, but you know scientists take t their time when they all that they'll figure it out. Just, uh, walking down the trail here, lots of cotton both sides and uh, well, this is all part of the dry forest here on the southwest corner of Puerto Rico it's pretty interesting because on the on the northeast coast the northeast portion of the island you have the uh, have the rainforest but here it's, uh, it's the, the dry forest so pretty interesting uh, climatology here in, uh, in Puerto Rico going from pretty much one extreme to the other in a span of, uh, of well less than 100 miles and here's a lagoon it's very shallow and that's why there are lots of birders Oh, yeah. That's why there's sharp birds that come here. There's a magnet. Is that a cricket bird? Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. See that there are storms all over the place. You have to walk very careful because uh, the thing that we usually tell people uh, about the salt flats, we were invaded by people from England. We were invaded for, for, for people all over the world because of the salt. Salt was very valuable, the word salary and salvation from some salt. Uh, because salt, before refrigeration, it was used for what? To um, keep food from going bad, of especially course. meat, right? And remember, the trips from Europe to here were two or three months. They didn't have refrigeration, so they mm -hmm. had to salt all the food. Either salt or sugar. Including the vegetables. Including vegetables and everything. <laughs> So they needed the salt, so they didn't want to buy it, so they attacked us many times. But the attack we usually refer to, which is for Puerto Ricans, it was an attack from another town of Puerto Rico called Aguada. Mm -hmm. They came to attack us to take the salt. They came with three ships from Aguada. They came with the ship. There was somebody in Aguada from Cabo Rojo. It was in 70s, 1769. 1769. <laughs> so the, he came in horse, riding all the way from Aguada to here, and told everybody from Cabo Rojo, "Listen, the people from Aguada are going to They're attack." Planning us. An invasion. A planning invasion. So people of Cabo Rojo armed themselves and came here and hide. And oh wow, they hide and the, 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 the sand dunes the, that the we used to have there. The sand dunes and the salt flat, the salt. <laughs> And then uh, when the people from Aguada came in, they disembarked. They were taking the salt, and the people from Cabo Rojo attacked them, and they killed them all. So, so from then on, we're called Mata con Hacha. It means killed by hatchet. Ah. Huh? Come, go Mata con Hacha. We, we've seen that many places, even uh, at the uh, baseball stadium. Well, there's a, there's a uh, museo in, uh, in, the in Mata Centro. The Mata con Hacha museo Hacha. in uh, downtown Cabo Rojo. Yeah, uh, do you know who it is? Uh, <laughs> That's another story. Uh, <laughs> uh, so we are called, watch out, we are called. We and the beach there, it's called El Combate, the combat. Oh, that's ah. why. That's why. That's a combat. Aha. Uh, uh -huh. It's but significant we have because there are many, many combats. But that one is significant because it's Puerto Ricans against Puerto Ricans. The, 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 the Holandese, the, the, the Netherlands. The Netherlands people, and uh, pirates also. Uh, pirate. Everybody wanted to take pick up the salt because it was very valuable. Right hmm. now it's not so valuable, but they, you know, yeah. they didn't have salt in, they didn't have this kind of salt in Europe. They had they salt they mines. They don't have yeah. the, the kind of weather to, that facilitates it. So they depend on, on mining mm -hmm. for salt. Mm -hmm. And mining uh, is... It was very the expensive. The salt for mines uh, is very limited. And on the other hand, when they came here, they had to go back. So they had to salt the food again to yeah. go back. So they needed salt here. 
So this is the oldest industry in the whole America, the whole continent of America. Wow. Since 1511. 1511. Hmm. Continuous. So uh, that's the that's the story about Cabo Rojanos. Watch out for, for Cabo Rojanos because we're we killed by hatchet. No? <laughs> <laughs> So the uh, the red soil, so not really red soil. That's uh, actually iron, um, iron, and uh, some quartz mixed in. So it's uh, the, the reddish part of this is uh, is how and why this area of Puerto Rico is called uh, the Cabo Rojo, you know, the Red Cape, uh, because of the iron oxide in, in, uh, on the ground, and uh, this being the uh, the tip of the uh, the southwest corner of Puerto Rico. Tower. It's a view partially part of the way up. You just have to be sure of them. Yeah. I, I am too. I didn't think it would work. Am I in the way? Uh, you know, the salt flats over here. Visitor Center. Oh, wow. Thank you. Got some salt here. Well, that ended our little tour here. Um, and uh, it's quite interesting here, the salt flats. And uh, there's a lot more hiking. Uh, to do not just from here, but uh, up in the salt flat area. So uh, we'll be back to do that at uh, some point down in the future.